everyone, it's Natalie Skabinski. Thanks for uh, coming to my YouTube channel. Uh, on this video, I am going to go over how to skip slides in your um, Google slide presentations so that when a student comes in, all that they see is going to be their first slide, and then they have to click on those rather than it started going through a slideshow. Okay, so um, also, I'm going to show you how to link it to present mode as well. Okay, so right now I have this science vocabulary that um, my amazing teammates made over the summer. This is the whole year science vocabulary for our fifth grade. Now, if you'll see over here, you can see the different vocabulary um, slides here. Well, when my students go into this, first of all, I don't want them to see it like this with the side panel over here and this first um, slide. I want them to just see this first slide and I don't want it to start a slideshow to where it starts moving every few seconds to the next slide. So what I want to do is I want to take each one of these slides and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one. I'm going to push control. And I'm going to go and I am going to select every single other slide because I know that it is connected to that first slide and I just want my students to see the first slide. Let me make sure that I get all of them in here. It can be a little tedious, but I'm telling you right now, this is going to be your best friend. Aren't these amazing that my teammates made. Awesome. Okay, and so I'm almost done here. Almost done, almost done. Remember, I am holding down the control key as I am clicking each one of these slides. And there you go. So I'm going to make sure that they are all highlighted that yellowy beigey color and then I'm gonna just don't click on one because then it'll unclick everyone I'm gonna put my cursor on it I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna skip slides and now what it's gonna do is it's gonna show you hey whenever this is in present mode whenever this is presenting it's not gonna show any of these slides so basically it's gonna stay on this first slide it's not gonna move anywhere and that's exactly what you want it to do Okay, I'm just making sure that all of those little crossed out eyes are there. Okay, so now we're good. And now I'm completely done with this. I want to make sure that when my students click on a link to get to this document, that they don't see all these on the side. So I want them just to see it in present mode, just like that. Okay, so this is how we do that. Go over to File and publish to the web, okay? Now, there's two different ways that you can show it. You can show just a link, you can put a link, and that's what I'm gonna do because I am going to actually link it to, this is gonna be my science vocabulary. Um, this is gonna be my science virtual classroom and I'm going to actually link it to an icon right here. I don't have an icon right now, but I'm gonna link it there, okay? Or another way is you can embed this into your classroom. So if you have a Schoology classroom and you have a folder that says science vocabulary, when you click on that, then if you embed this, it'll show the slideshow right away. Okay. Now it's not going to matter if you do advanced slides every three seconds or any of that because it's not going to advance because it's only going to show that first one because we hid all the rest of them. Okay. So I want to publish this as a link and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to publish. Okay. Now this is going to be your shared link. Okay. So you're going to just go ahead and control C copy this link. Okay. Now I'm going to go in to my science vocabulary or my science virtual classroom, excuse me. And I have the word vocabulary right here. I'm going to put a little icon next to it, but let's just use this word vocabulary and let's add that link to this. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I'm clicked on it, that it doesn't have the blinking um, icon there. 
that it just is clicked on. And I am going to go up to my toolbar and says insert link and I'm going to do that. Click on that and I'm going to control V and put in that link and apply. Okay, so now it's connected to that. Whenever they click on it, it's going to show just this and they can go and click through it, continue all of the classifying matters and then back to the main menu. All right, I hope this helped you guys out and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day.